Last but not least, I want to touch upon ways in which we can actually modify how our junk email works. Now, we did discuss this in our first Outlook course when we mentioned Focused Inbox and how it actually makes it easier to actually avoid using the junk email or clutter feature. But I actually want to show you how we can make it so that we have a very rigorous filter in place for our junk emails so that all of the emails that we know are junk end up in our junk email and none of the emails that we know are not junk end up there. So from our email inbox, what we're going to do is we're actually going to navigate on the right hand side of our home tab to our more commands button here. There's a little ellipsis. If we click on that, we're going to be focusing on this junk section right here in move and delete. Now first, you can choose to block senders or never block senders or senders domains or never block this group or mailing list. Now if you block a sender, that's just saying that any email that I get from this individual, I want to be sent straight to my junk email. If you choose to never block a sender, that means that even if something may be flagged as junk email, it will never be sent to junk from this sender. Same with a certain sender's domain, let's say at gmail.com. If I know I'm getting a lot of emails from my friends or someone at gmail.com that's being considered to be junk email, I can choose to never block that sender's domain. Although in that case, you do risk getting junk email from someone else who has that same domain name. Then you can choose to never blo block this group or mailing list. Now, if you get an email from a group or emails from a group or mailing list, you can choose to make sure that they're actually whitelisted, so to speak, in your account so that they know that that should never be put into junk email. You can also hover over a specific item that's in your junk email and just mark that as not junk here as well. Then finally, if we open this junk email options section, this is where we can really alter our filter. So for our options, we first can choose the level of junk email protection that we want. And this essentially alters the baseline level of our filter. So we could have no automatic filtering, and this is mail from blocked senders is still moved, but all other email will just end up in the inbox. We could have low, which is what is on by default, which moves the most obvious junk email to your junk email folder and leaves the rest in your inbox. Then you could also move that to high, where most junk email is caught, but some regular mail might be caught as well. So this is a very rigorous filter, and some of your mail that you actually might need could end up in your junk email folder. So that's not usually on by default. But if you'd like to change it, you can do so within these settings. Then you can also do safe lists only, which only mail from people or domains that are on your safe senders list or safe recipients list will actually be delivered to your inbox. You can also choose to permanently delete suspected junk email instead of just moving it to the junk email folder, or to be warned about suspicious domain names in your email addresses. Then we can create what's called a safe senders list. Now, if you mark someone as a safe sender, as we said before, all those emails will come into your inbox and none of them will end up in your junk email. So you can add any individuals here to your safe senders list in order to make that happen for each of them. Safe recipients happens on the other end. So essentially, if you have an individual who you're sending something to where Outlook may flag them as a dangerous recipient, that email may go into their junk or it may not leave your outbox. You can actually set a safe recipients list so that they'll never be treated as junk email. Then blocked senders, you can add different senders to this blocked senders list so that you will not receive, or if you do receive, it'll be put straight into your junk email, certain emails from certain domain names or even email addresses. So again, you can add, edit, or remove those from here. And if you have a list that you've created yourself, you can actually export that to a file. So if you have a blocked senders list that you might want to share with someone else, you can export that to a file and send it along to them that way. And if you receive one yourself, you can also import that from a file to populate a blocked senders list. You can do the same for your recipients as well as your safe senders. And then finally, we have an international section. So if you actually are sending emails internationally, you can add some further section or further um, filters to your junk email. As you can see, some email messages you receive might be written in languages you're unfamiliar with and don't want to read. These messages can be marked as junk and moved to the junk email folder. The sender's email address in different countries or regions can end with top level domain codes such as .ca, .mx, or .us. 
The blocked top-level domain list allows you to block all messages sent from an email address ending with a specific top-level domain. So if you're getting emails from these international places and you don't want to receive those, you can add this to a blocked top-level domain list. And then finally, you can block certain encodings as well if you need to. Now these are pretty advanced and only really apply if you are doing anything internationally, but if you need them, you have those settings there as well. What I do suggest you do is go through and change the level of junk email protection that you desire, as well as populating your own safe senders, safe recipients, and blocked senders lists based on your email preferences and your day-to-day -day emails. So you know who exactly you're getting emails from and who you're sending them to, and the rest will end up in your junk mail. We hope this video helped. Make sure to click the thumbs up and click the subscribe button right here. And click the link above to check out our Limelight classes, a free virtual live training. See you in the next video.